All right, we're going to go ahead and kick off our media availabilities here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. We are now joined by Ty Dillon, driver of the number 14 Bass Pro Shops Chevrolet. Ty, you're running double duty this weekend in the NASCAR Xfinity Series and NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. Talk about expectations heading into the weekend in both cars. It's a huge weekend. Um, first of all, I got to thank Stuart Haas Racing for the opportunity uh, to be in the 14 car. Unfortunately, um, I think everybody wants to see Tony in this car, and, and with un unfortunate circumstances, um, I was able to uh, you know, be in the car this weekend, which is good for me to be able to get the experience and, and such great equipment. And uh, can't thank them enough for the opportunity. It's an honor to drive the 14 for Tony. And uh, I have high expectations for this weekend, and, and I said it before earlier this week that I always set my goals high, and then I want to run good in this car and, and do good for Tony and Stuart Haas Racing. Uh, I don't see why we shouldn't be able to run in the top 10 and top 15, and uh, I'm going to give it all my all I have. I've been talking with, with Mike all week, and um, you know I want to go out there and, and impress a lot of people and, and show people what I'm made of and what I can do in these race cars. So, uh, And going back and forth is just going to help me, I feel like, especially with our Xfinity car, and um, it would be nice to, to get two good finishes here in Atlanta. All right, we'll go ahead and open it up to questions. Please state your name and affiliation. We'll start with Jeff and then go to Bob. Jeff Glove from USA Today. Ty, um, any extra nerves or unusual uh, feelings around coming into this weekend that you wouldn't normally have? It's different. Uh, you know, it's just everything's different for me. Um, I, I'm used to one company my whole my whole life that I've, I've worked with. And uh, this whole week, I've, I've been at Stuart Hall talking with the guys and getting to know them. And uh, it's been great. It's been an awesome experience for me. It's, it's helped me grow not only as a driver, but as a person. And uh, learn how to, do, to go about things different. So I'm excited for, for what this brings. It's definitely a different feel coming into this weekend, uh, but it's definitely not a worse feeling. It's, it's been really good. All right, we'll go to Bob and then Kenny. Uh, Bob Parker, CSPN. Does uh, doing this substitute role take away any of the sting, if there was any, of not, getting, not being able to put together a full-time cup program for you this year? And how much do you view this as kind of pivotal and trying to land sponsorships going forward. Definitely, um, you know, it was a little bit of a sting. I wanted to be, be, you know, started off the year knowing I was going to be running more cup races. Um, and with this opportunity coming about, it definitely gives me more opportunity to go showcase what I can do in these cars and uh, gain experience. You know, I've only ran a certain amount of races in the Sprint Cup Series so far. So uh, anytime I can get more laps, more experience uh, is always going to help. So. Um, it definitely takes a little bit of the sting of not running more of a schedule that, that I was hoping for this year in Spring Cup Series, but uh, now that I have the opportunity, I can go out there and do what I want to do. All right, we'll go to Kenny and then the gentleman in the middle. Kenny Bruce with NASCAR.com. Ty, if, a couple of things. First of all, you mentioned your expectations, but have officials with Stuart Haas Racing told you what they expect out of you? And also, if the car's not running as fast as people think it should be running, if there are issues within a team, can that be a negative for you? Uh, I, I don't think so. I got I have one job to do, and that's to drive the race car as fast as I can as far as uh, you know, what the car is. And I know Stuart Haas is going to give me the best equipment possible. Um, so I'm going to get in there and, and work as hard as I can as soon as I get in the race car, and we're, we're going to make the best out of the situation. Uh, Mike and I went to lunch, and we kind of talked about our goals. He's a rookie crew chief. Uh, he's been in the garage for a long time. He's won championships. So, uh, but – the main thing is we want to finish the race. You know, that's, the, that's the first thing. We want to finish the race, bring the car back uh, in the same condition that we brought it here. And we know doing that with, with what Stuart Haas can bring to the track as far as race cars and equipment right out of the gate, we ought to be able to finish on the lead lap and, and finish in the top 15, uh, top 10 being a bonus. Uh, so him and I definitely have our goal set. We want to show people both what we're both made of. And uh, I think we're going to have a good opportunity to do that. Additional questions for Ty? All right, we'll go to Bob and then Jeff. Right here. Uh, Bob Parker, CSPN. Uh, do, do you expect to be in the car at some point after this weekend? We'll see. Um, we, uh, the main focus right now is just here. Uh, we've been kind of taking it. This whole process has been kind of day to day. So uh, we'll see. But uh, right now we're going to focus on doing the best we can here in Atlanta, and we'll go forward from there. All right, we'll go to Jeff and then Stan. Obviously, you and Austin are extremely competitive people. Uh, he ran this car twice. There any, any bragging rights if you better his finish in this car? Yeah, um, I had to make sure it was all right for for my friends and everybody to pull for Stuart Haas racing this weekend. <laughs> they had to ask my mom if it was okay, and she said it was good. So, uh, 
No, yeah, definitely. Every time we race against each other in any series, there's always bragging rights between us. But even if it's not even said between us, we, we're always trying to beat the other one. Uh, so it'll be fun this weekend, and um, hopefully we beat them. Uh, Stan Creekmore with um, RPMTonight.com. The track itself, what do you feel are the best parts of this racetrack, and what do you feel might be the, your challenges, your main challenges with this track? I really like this racetrack. Um, I love that it falls off. It's getting a little bit rougher. The surface is worn out. Um, I ran a cup race here two years ago. It was um, you know, different time of the year at that point. The race schedule hadn't changed. Um, and I learned a lot, and I really love how these things fall off, and it, it kind of suits my style. I'm more of a long-run guy, it seems like, at most of these places. Um, but the, the, I think the biggest challenge for me is I haven't ran this new package at all, and then coming to Atlanta with this new package, it's going to be tricky. Uh, but, you know, that a lot of that's going to quicken my learning curve by driving the Stuart Haas number 14 because I know Mike and all these guys are, are going to give me the best equipment possible. I'll have a lot of great teammates that know what's going on and uh, be able to help me out. So um, hopefully we can cut that learning curve of this new package and, and uh, only be in my second race here pretty quick. Ty. All right, Ty, thanks for joining all us right, today. Thank you, guys.